Today's Catholic Mass Readings and Gospel Reflection Wednesday of the 32nd week November 15, 2023 Feast Day of Saint Albert the Great Bishop and Doctor First reading is taken from the Book of Wisdom chapter 6 verses 1 to 11 Hear, O kings, and understand, learn, you magistrates of the earth's expanse. Hearken, you who are in power over the multitude and lord it over throngs of peoples. Because authority was given you by the Lord and sovereignty by the Most High, who shall probe your works and scrutinize your counsels. Because Though you were ministers of his kingdom, you judged not rightly, and did not keep the law nor walk according to the will of God. Terribly and swiftly shall he come against you, because judgment is stern for the exalted, for the lowly may be pardoned out of mercy but the mighty shall be mightily put to the test. For the Lord of all shows no partiality. Nor does he fear greatness, because he himself made the great as well as the small, and he provides for all alike, but for those in power a rigorous scrutiny impends. To you, therefore, O princes, are my words addressed that you may learn wisdom and that you may not sin. For those who keep the holy precepts hallowed shall be found holy, and those learned in them will have ready a response. Desire therefore my words, long for them and you shall be instructed. Responsorial Song Rise up, O God, bring judgment to the earth. A reading from our Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice, land he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go, your faith has saved you. Reflection from our Holy Gospel Your faith has saved you. Luke continues to show Jesus' care for the little ones, the outcast and the marginalized of society. Lepers are set aside outside the community for fear of contaminating the healthy ones, physically or ritually. The Samaritans, on the other hand, are disdained as half-breed of Jews who intermarried with pagans. Among the ten lepers, Luke singles out the Samaritan as the foreigner who returns to give thanks to God. Healing is not enough. Faith in Jesus the healer is central in salvation. The faith of this foreign leper prepares for Luke's later account in the conversion of the pagan Cornelius in the Acts of the Apostles. Faith in Jesus removes barriers between the 
clean and the unclean. Peter explains to Cornelius and his household. You know that it is unlawful for a Jewish man to associate with or visit a Gentile, but God has shown me that I should not call any person profane or unclean. Salvation is meant for all. In God's kingdom there is no distinction between Jew or Greek, slave or free person. For all are one in Christ.